Hi, I'm Michael Brown for Rescue TV, and I'm on the Beauty Bubble couch this week with Margaret Zhang. Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> Always. Great to see you great too. Great to see you too. Now, you are just a phenomenon at the moment. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Fashion blogger, photographer as well, which I know this is a big uh, focus for you. Mm -hmm. Ambassador, also creative director. Mm -hmm. And now you're also working with Colleague for their Face Forward campaign. Yeah, it's been pretty surreal. It's like really big highlight in my career. I think. Amazing. Tell us how that kind of started for you. Um, Clinique came to me end of last year and uh, it all really happened really quickly. They'd already done their research about what it was that I was about. They knew all of the things that I was really interested in. They knew the way that I communicated um, with my readership and they knew what people looked for in me when they come to look at my website, look at my yeah, channels, beautiful. look at my photography work and styling and all of that. So yeah, it was really quick process and I think they had the same experience with Tavi and Hannah yeah, um, really understood what it was that we believed in and what it was that we did rather than what we looked like. Yeah. And that was what really stood out to me about the campaign. It was just something that was more substantial than your average beauty campaign. Beauty is like empowering at the moment. I think beauty is turning into a lifestyle it as well. Is, it is. Not just what we put on our face, you totally. know, over the top. And obviously yourself being with your lifestyle, mm -hmm. you travel, you're doing so many different things with, you know, your personal life as well as being a law student, I mm -hmm. hear as well. So you've obviously got a lot going on. Now, what is your take on beauty? Like, what do you love about the beauty industry and beauty products in general? I mean, I I love that you know beauty products I'm a sucker for packaging like <laughs> like the next person we always um, love, the nice packaging. love nice packaging and I, I love that beauty is really about enhancing what you look like rather than you know hiding or masking yeah. what you look like that's I kind think of the old school beauty was right, a bit masking, masking yeah. right and that's kind of my approach to beauty and I think it is like you said so much more like a lifestyle mm. wherein you should be drinking two to three liters of water a day yeah. you need to be doing exercise my skin really reflects when I'm really stressed or like overworking myself or not yeah. sleeping enough um, when I'm traveling too much and I'm dehydrated it really shows as well it so it's really about that whole big holistic idea yeah. um, and you know Tavi and Hannah as well also embrace that I mean Hannah is so much about fitness and Tavi's knowledge of beauty and fashion really like assists her in character building and her acting and things like that. That's right. So yeah, I think beauty for me is just, it's almost a way of life. Mm. It's not really about, you know, the products. And you travel such. so much as well, yeah. so dehydration would, would definitely Huge set factor. in on those uh, long, you know, long flights. flights. But also you probably have early starts, you know, I know being a makeup artist with shoots, you do start quite early in really the morning. Really early, exactly. And I think people wake up in the morning and just go, oh, I'm feeling dehydrated, pack on the foundation. Whereas we, we're looking now about skin. So yeah. obviously skin is a big thing for you as well in the beauty industry. Yeah, 100%. I think skin should be your number one priority um, when it comes to beauty. Yeah. Um, again, all about the exercise, all about the hydrating. You never drink quite enough water, always no, say yes to water. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's me today, I'm like a little part. But um, you know, looking after your skin involves so many different elements, mm. so that should be your number one. And then the makeup after that kind of enhances what you have. And yeah, I think if you course, feel perfect. comfortable in your skin and you feel confident without any makeup on, wearing makeup is only going to make you feel better mm. rather than trying to use makeup to so skincare for me is everything. that confidence right. I, think, I think makeup can also give you confidence in different ways but if yeah. you have the, 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 the right skin right for canvas. you and everything yeah. it can be perfect 100%. Now, do you remember the first time maybe when you were a child that you started playing with some makeup and beauty products what's that first memory well, for you I mean really early on because I grew up training to be a ballet dancer so oh, there was wow. like a Same. whole lot right <laughs> yeah and there was a whole lot of like badass blue eyeshadow yes. and like the brow, bad maybe? red <laughs> lipstick up to the brow yeah not really concerned with where the crease started um some hectic contouring just like so really packing it on yeah quite like quite a lot of false eyelashes makeup. yeah wow. so as soon as i had the chance to stop i was just like totally clean totally just bare face just to get um, it off and yeah fresh. get it off and just be totally fresh yeah. and so i think during my teen years when like my skin didn't take so well to that heavy kind of ballet stage mm -hmm. makeup um it was really important for me to you know, take care of my skin of so that it wasn't suffocating in a way. Yeah, true. And your look now, some say minimalist, but I yeah. also think it's quite chic as well. The, the, the liquid eyeliner is such a big trend at the moment and we're seeing winged eyeliners in so many different ways. Yeah. It's not just the classic one that we used to see back in, you know, the, the 50s and 60s totally. and whatnot. We're seeing thick edges, we're seeing blunt edges, we're seeing yep. thin Squares, lines, square, all exactly. Happening. So what is your kind of everyday kind of product list? You know, do you have eyeliner, concealer, lipstick or do you add other things into it? Yeah, I mean, 
I'm working so much all the time, like I always have a camera in my face, I'm always kind of styling and you know, have my hands full, it's not really good to have my hair in, in my face. In behind the scenes you're getting shot. Right, so behind the yeah. scenes, so always have my hair back, um, always clean skin. I actually don't own a foundation at the moment. Oh, wow. um, sometimes concealer if, you know, I've had a long flight and just yeah. have dark eye circles or something, but always mixing that human, with so. like, <laughs> yeah, I am human. Always mixing that with a moisturizer before I put it on okay. so it's like super sheer. That's a great tip, um, yeah, to which mix is a things hot together. Tip. Yeah, mm. so it doesn't just like sit dry on your face. Yes. It kind of, it blends in quite See, well. when you're dehydrated, that's the problem. Right, you get that makeup, is the super problem. Put it over the problem. top and it just like this. It sits on we top. You want it to bond. Exactly. <laughs> Um, and then probably at most like brush my eyebrows up with an eyebrow mm -hmm. gel, um, maybe just like a little bit of mascara if any, but mm -hmm. you know again if I'm shooting probably not and I love a good highlighter, I think yes. highlighters just really important just to make you look a little awake. I'm a big fan of highlighters. Love a well. highlight, yeah. <laughs> and so when you do get shot for, um, you know, big fashion campaigns and whatnot, and the makeup artist is there, you know, putting on makeup, do you find it funny when you do have like a strong eye or anything like that? Or do you like um, playing that particular character? I think it depends what it's for. I mean, most of the time, they always work with really great makeup artists and they really know what they're doing and I really mm. trust them. Um, they also have done their research and seen, you know, what looks good on me yeah. and, you know, the Asian bone structure and the Asian eye structure is really different That's to like a Caucasian like eye crease and there's less room to do an eyeshadow look mm -hmm. or, and things like that so um, it's really interesting to play with different looks I really yeah. enjoy it yeah I think it'd be fun for you I know you're a fan of the lipstick change as well because All about we can the lipstick. see you with such light fresh lips and then I've seen you with like the darkest a hectic moody dark lip. lip yeah I love that <laughs> I love that is there anything that you love at the moment out there in terms of lip uh, trends or even lip textures yeah. that you like I love a matte lip yeah I'm really into just like like a dark velvety matte lip like with a really defined line mm -hmm. um, but I also love like the neutral lip I, I mean I feel like that's the Kylie Jenner thing everyone's yeah. loving that kind of pinky neutral lip at the moment it's a good um, little lip stain as well isn't it, it? is you can use it, it on is. the cheek as well so totally. it's a great you know two-in-one kind of product. yeah and I love um, the Clinique Black Honey lip it's like an almost lipstick it's mm -hmm. quite it's quite sheer that's a good daytime one yeah whereas like a really dark almost purple black one is really good sure at night. I'm sure people see you with those real, you know, rich, uh, dark lips and think, oh, I'm not sure if I can use it. So something like an almost yeah. you know, sheer lipstick yeah. is perfect Could to get you going. Could be a halfway, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, get you a halfway mark. Totally. And what about any one that you look up to or any icons over the years that you've kind of thought, wow, like their beauty look is, is something that I can relate to? Anyone that you think, oh, I mean, God. past or present? I mean, the, you know, the funny thing is that um, I guess Asian beauty ambassadors that have been casting campaigns and stuff all have like a very, very particular kind of face, very alabaster yes. white skin, um, really large eyes that kind of aren't maybe indicative of what the Asian population actually looks mm -hmm. like. Yes, true. And there aren't actually that many kind of Asian beauty bloggers who are into the natural look. A lot of them are really into like a huge eyeliner, like mm. a lot of colors, um, which is not really what I'm about. Um, I was saying before that I think Lea Sedu, the French actress, I think is okay. really fresh and beautiful yep. and looks completely different to me, but I just love her approach. You, you know, like her hair's yeah. always a bit tussled, she's always a bit rough and tumble, but she's really clean and just never, yeah. you know, too over the top, if anything, a bit rosy, but I, that's I it. like that lived in look as well with me. Yeah. I think, I think that they're all placed perfect lines and perfect hair and everything's so, um, you know, looks like it's been done too much. Yep, yep, yeah. I yep. think it's just not right really now, Really needs something it? a bit real. Yes, I yeah. like that too. Perfect. Well, it's been great chatting to you and we love hearing what your take on beauty is, plus Thank some you. of your favourite trends and tips. It's been wonderful. Thank you, Margaret. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.